Hey guys, I see Knuckles here returning at you uh, with a vlog to, and an update to give y'all. I'm sure most of y'all know I've been on hiatus for a break for mental health break because my mind just really wasn't at, on recording at that time and I just really needed a, a little mental health break plus with everything going on around me I just uh, needed to step away for a bit and to also uh, rethink um, how I want to do my channel in the future no I'm not quitting anything and I think I'm going to um, tone down on the make or break thing and um, yeah we'll just see how it goes from there and this is being shared on uh, Facebook as well. And uh, all those who uh, wish me well with my uh, mental health, I thank y'all so much. I am uh, not entirely fully there yet, but I'm trying to make things better. Those that don't know, when I said I needed a break, it was a break from YouTube and everything. Like, I needed to step away from recording for a bit. And, uh, it was much needed. I was going to have something up on Labor Day. Since I am recording this on Labor Day, I was going to have something up for you guys. I did say that's when I was going to come back. But after a much needed fun time with my cousins on uh, Labor Day weekend. And, uh, just trying to finish other things and have some other uh, things happen. Uh, I just, uh needed some more time away and I'm gonna give myself that again guys I promise um, next week is when uh, I will record more of uh, nine villages and not uh, Metroid Dread yet that's actually one thing I wanted to address to my YouTube audience one thing I definitely have uh, known is that having two projects at once is uh, a lot of work on me like there's much times when I just want to step away and just chill for everything so we are um, as of this point right now are no longer going to be doing two projects at once instead instead of it being like Zelda classic original title it's now going to be in line and videos will remain by daily but I will try and make the videos a little longer to alleviate that since the Metroid Other M ended when I took the break, Metroid Dread is still being pushed back then. And we are going to finish nine villages before we move on to Metroid Dread and then the next Zelda Classic after that. So it's going to go back to that format. But um, one thing I will do to try and keep um, half the schedule up, like how I normally would have it, like I would have Zelda Classic original title, Zelda Classic original title, Whenever I start a new project, then the following day we'll have the project, but then it will go back to being by daily. So let's say nine villages ended on Tuesday. Well, Wednesday will be Metroid Dread, and then Friday will be the next part. So that's how it will be. When a new project begins, the following day after the finale will be the brand new project and everything. And uh, it will just be like that until we can find a... Um, until I can go back to uh, doing two projects at once. Right now it's just a lot of work on me with everything else going on. And uh, I just really want to slow it down a bit. I'm not going to quit. I'm just slowing things down a bit. And uh, there was something else I was going to talk about. Yeah, the make or break stuff is going to um, re be removed. I'm not going to force y'all to just watch my uh, original titles if y'all want to it's just that you will go any el elongated time before the next Zelda Classic it won't always be consistent it'll just be a break from Zelda Classic and then original title as far as original titles is I'm still trying to figure out some things on uh, what original titles I want to do and one other announcement is I will be um, also taking hiatuses every December. Christmas time is usually the most hectic for me because I have so much to do in that time. I have like, I have like, most likely, most likely two Christmas trips, an event, 
most likely three events with two of them being trips and uh, I also just gotta buy gifts and everything and do some things around here so every November starting this year there will be no videos it's only because the Christmas is probably the most busiest time of all uh, outside of the outside here in the house and uh, I just want to focus more on that and I don't want to feel pressured into like saying oh I need to get stuff done when I already have things to do but videos will resume every first of the new year so every New Year's Day things will resume or New Year's Eve depending on how the video schedule is so yes everything's gone back to being by daily with one project in a row and December is um, no videos month every year until like I said things lighten up and I can continue on this whole thing with my mental health guys it's just everything around me is just hitting me hard and just making me just be completely wore out like there's times when I just there's most of the time when I just really want to break to myself and I just not want to worry about anything else it's not being selfish it's just I want things to be a little easy and is there anybody to blame for that no I mean no one is to blame for anybody I don't want anybody pointing fingers at anybody blaming it on others is it hard with responsibilities that I have yes is it hard because I have to worry about other people and not wor and uh, not just worry about myself yes because I always the way I always envisioned how things went was you live your childhood up you live up into your final year of high school and you go to college and you find a job and then you live life the way you want it to and uh, and then you just wind up uh, on doing things on your own time without having anything else to worry about because everything else is taken care of by itself I mean I do wish that to be and uh, it's uh, just not easy to handle much I mean I'm only five years short of 40 folks and it's it's tiring and plus there's just uh, other things people just think they know what's best for me even though it may not be best like right now I think I'm approaching probably the only one who has never been in a relationship in the family and I've said that a lot in all my previous videos and of course I stand by what I say with it do I want somebody who doesn't care about who doesn't have to care about you but chooses to that'd be nice to have but on the other side am I ready for that can I handle that can I handle that responsibility am I ready for it and that's what I've been debating the whole time am I jealous of anybody with somebody no not at all I mean that's all misinterpreted and like I said I'm the most misunderstood individual of all no lie and plus uh it's almost coming to that point and I'm just like I'm gonna be the oddball no, I mean it feels like it's going to be like that at some point and I just have to get used to it I just have to get used to it I'm just me essentially <laughs> and uh well it doesn't really bother me I mean the only thing is I just wish people involved me in more things people say why don't you call us and then because 99% of the time I try and plan something nobody wants to but then the other time someone plans something with us and we can't do it they get upset at us it's like you nobody wins I just uh, don't know the right thing to do in that sense and I live by the philosophy if it happens it happens but part of me is also like you gotta push some strive for that to happen life is not a dice roll and uh, that's the way it mostly is around here I mean don't get me wrong I mean, I am Christian, I do believe in the Lord and everything, but on the other side of things, it's like, 
Life's not handed to you on a silver platter. Or you gotta at least strive some push in there. No one's gonna spray pixie dust or anything on you, and it's just gonna magically happen. There has to be some push towards it. That's the way I think, and a lot of people just think uh, that that isn't right. Work has also uh, been a little bit up and down ride. I mean, uh, my my uh, my side of things has continued to be busy than ever. And plus, uh, handling handling the, the new people we got has been good. Uh, one of the veterans we have can uh, let me just say this. Let me just say this, folks. Don't let your problems control you. That's the only thing I will say about it. And um, yeah, that's basically just it. And the mental health thing, guys. I'm still trying, trying these days to um, improve it and make myself uh, in a healthy spot. Now I do have a little bit of surprise for you uh, guys. I have made a video that I'm going to play at the end of this one to show you my next 10 Let's Plays uncovered. You're going to see the next five original titles. One of those I will tell you right here is, of course, Metroid Dread. That is going to be the uh, next original title and the next project after Nine Villages. Afterwards, you'll see the next five Zelda classic ones. I hope you are actually looking forward to a few of them because I will say this. One was one I tried before. One seems like you need to do it in order to be a Zelda Classic Let's Player. And um, one has been on hold for a bit. One I just randomly picked to do. And another one was a, another like a rabbit out of a hat, essentially. So, <laughs> And the original titles, I've had the next two planned, the next three after Metroid Dread planned. The final one is actually a project I've done before, only I'm going to do a different run of it. And it's, and the hint I can give is, it's one of my early projects that reached four figures on the first video. If you know what that is, I wouldn't mind you commenting. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind you commenting before you see the answer. So, um... Yeah, so enjoy that little video I made. I have two of my favorite songs in there. One of them is from a game I've done before, Mim Cave Story. It's the happy version of Amiga Village. And the other one is actually the song that's actually been healing me and making me feel calm and everything. And no, I'm not going to do a Let's Play on it anytime soon. It's Feel the Hopes and Dreams from Deltarune. That song I've been hearing a lot, and it just wipes out all the negative energy out of me and just makes me feel like everything's going to be okay. I've been listening to it a lot and it really helps, guys, even in my car. And I pretty much put that thing on repeat and it just wipes away everything. And it just makes me feel a whole lot better. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. You'll see me uh, next week after this video has been uploaded and uh, we'll be right back to the Nine Villages. Thank you guys so much for um, your support on my mental health and everything. It's still an uphill battle, but I'm definitely going to get there. You know the criteria. Leave good comments. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like. Follow on Twitch if I ever decide to get back into that. Keep that positivity going because you are respected individuals yourself. And until then, I'm SC Knuckles, and I will see you all back in Nine Villages when we continue the Let's Plays. I hope you guys like the Let's Plays I have chosen. See you then, guys.